it was pretty difficult Saturday morning. I think uh, you know we've got to put this in context. We found two positives on a Friday, and by the time um, uh, quite amazing work from Ben Sterling and James Chapman in terms of you know that's hours of watching footage, hours of reporting. So it wasn't until about 10, 11 o'clock Saturday morning that we're starting to get an understanding of the impact in, in close contact. And obviously then the impact because the, um, the impact that had on the team because all of those eight were involved in the 23. So, uh, you know, in, in a, or at a time when we're actually really bouncing, waiting to get into, uh, you know, a Champions Cup game from 10 years since we were in there before, that threatened just to take our minds away from that, and and it, you know it was a great effort by everybody to to get the changes, inform changes, get them involved, um, and be able to to get the game on. And and you know it, it was still important for us to to play, be in that experience, and learn from it. And I think credit to the guys that. They got to a stage where they had some opportunities where they potentially they could have won the game. I think, you know, I'm not trying to gloss over anything. There were moments that we'd survive long enough and create enough pressure in that second half to, uh, to actually probably two opportunities where I felt during their yellow card if we'd have been more clinical. Um, but ultimately, we didn't have enough. We're not having a bench, not having people to come off. Um, ultimately, the pressure that told towards the end I think Dragons have shown you know you list all the things I've just talked about and and I think there's a number of reasons that you could have started offering up excuses we didn't we're always throw everything at it and whoever comes in will we'll do that again this weekend this is probably the biggest challenge of um, the Champions Cup campaign for us um, Bordeaux away you know great powerful French side and, and so it's going to be a huge challenge for us but we're determined to enjoy ourselves in this tournament is we you know is we waited a long time to be in it we know that we've got to learn from it and uh, we've got to work very hard to be competitive and it's an enormous challenge this week um, and, um, I'm confident that we'll be in the right space to do that we're well, happy that Dragons will be ready to go at the weekend we've got People that come into that position, people who are competitive, are we as strong as when those eight are there? No, we're not. Is And that's a, a real shame that some of those players won't get this experience. But that just means it offers the door for someone else to come in. And, uh, you know, it, it's an enormous challenge for us the weekend. But we, we are going to enjoy it. We're going to give some opportunities to people to come in, experience it and hopefully learn from it and we'll be better for it. Yeah, Oli Griffiths, the most uh, obviously important one and, and uh, that is looking like needs further investigation and uh, will be some weeks till we get an understanding of, of how to deal with it. It's an ankle problem um, and we'll get further advice, but it looks to be um, a number of weeks um, that he'll be out. It's a real shame because he's gathering some real momentum for us and for himself. 